What is driving the internet crazy? Starting with Justin Bieber. This is how he eats a burrito. JB chowing down on a burrito like it's a corn cob. He's eating a burrito like he's eating corn it's, in the cob. It's almost like he's eating it like a cob of corn. You don't mm. eat raw chicken and you don't eat a burrito like that. Compromising its structure by attacking And if you're not offended, you're not American. Maybe from under. Yeah, like cradle it. That is so freaking funny. Dude, yes. Ah, <sighs> gotcha. I was thought for a video idea. Anyways though, was on YouTube searching, trying to find inspiration for the next video I do. And I came across this video by Yes Theory. We fool the internet with fake Justin Bieber burrito photo. And bro, that one worked like a charm. Basically what they did, just as I did, they went online and they came across this Justin Bieber lookalike. Bro, I'll be honest with you, nigga, that nigga look like Justin It's scary how similar that nigga look like Justin Bieber, bro. He, he, maybe the nose throw it off, but that nigga look like Justin Bieber. So yeah, like I was saying, they went online, they came across this Justin Bieber lookalike, and what they decided to do then is take a photo of Justin Bieber doing something crazy, something stupid, and see if they'll be able to convince the world that it is the real Justin Bieber doing something, like I said, crazy or stupid so hey myself too decided to uh, try this experiment ever since i started youtube niggas been telling me i look like either three niggas either i look like dom bobby smurda young bonds or i look like travis scott so what what i'm gonna do for this video is to see if i could take one of those celebrities right there and fool the world into making the world believe that i'm a real celebrity let's give it a shot <laughs> Yep. <laughs> that photo you seen of Travis Scott allegedly cheating on a significant other, Kylie Jenner, was completely staged, and we were the ones to do it. Never pulled off anything like this before, never even tried. But hey, watching the Yes Theories video gave me the drive to want to pull something like this off. The goal of this video is not to hurt anybody's relationship, but it's to see how gullible is the internet. The question is, do the internet even care about the truth sometimes? No, I'm saying he's on top. Oh, he's on top at the moment? Yeah. I think the people is going to pick up on it so fast and then realize that. As we speak. To be honest, I don't even think I don't think the internet even care about the truth or care about researching the truth. It's just what's more entertaining at the moment. I wanted to prove the point that you know most stories you see on the internet is almost never true. People say this and people say that, but to be honest, the lie is always more entertaining, and that entertaining story is most likely going to be the story you hear. So my plan was simple, and to put this all to the test, I dressed up as Travis Scott from head to toe and posed for a fake paparazzi photo. I took basically myself. So right, I got this witty idea right. I'm right, trying to basically. Basically, see if I could trick the internet into believing some kind of paparazzi photo. Where is it? Right here. I watched, I saw this. I saw it. Yes. I so know this. Photo mm. of Justin Bieber eating a burrito mm. sideways was completely staged, and we are the ones that did it. We know who I'm gonna choose when it comes to who I'm gonna act as. Travis or Playboy? Travis. I think, I, I, I think you, you, you did Playboy. Cardi. Hello. Yeah, everybody saw this, but I saw it on Instagram. And they saw him explaining how they they tricked the internet. I already got an idea set up though, how I what kind of photo I think I like. I wanted to do some kind of like paparazzi photo. I was gonna add like a TMZ watermark over it, right? Make it look real. And I wanted to do it like Travis Scott cheating on the next girl. Maybe they're on the they're on a balcony. Let me show you. So it's just that um he he's being seen in public. Yeah, Travis Scott with a different girl, something like that. Mm -hmm. Chris Brown. That is Chris Brown. Who are you joking, Groochie? I think they play in the end series. But yeah. But they catch him. <laughs> yeah, they catch him. <laughs> so something like that. They ain't gotta be super high quality. I don't want it super high quality. Because the more quality, the more fake you're gonna look. So yeah, but that's what I'm doing. I wanna do something like that and see if I can push it over there and make it pop it up. I'm, I'll be happy. If I could get, because what yesterday we did in a video, right? The news stations pick it up, like gossip articles pick it up. So it's gonna take time. What I'll be happy with, what I'll be super happy with is something like maybe, um, the shared room posted. Once once the shared room posted, not over, not up. Or even you find a blogger. So it's the picture going to be in the video. Yes, the picture is going to be in the video. Hopefully, when the picture get popular and out there and out there. That's when the video is gonna drop on my YouTube. We fool y'all. And a girl, the girl who I picked for it also gotta be someone who people would believe, like Travis Scott cheating on Kylie Jenner or Dougie. Like, Travis Scott wouldn't do it to Kylie. We need a girl who flicking, we need a sugar daddy, we need a sugar baby. That's what you need, right? What does that mean exactly? You know, sugar baby? The girls who live a luxurious life under the cost of an older man. Oh, so you want a white girl? She gotta be, like, she gotta be. Turn heads, right, like whiplash. She gotta be fine, fine. She gotta give niggas whiplash, bro. Like, and I feel like that's the only way like people would believe it. Yeah, that's the only way they would second guess it. We're like, what Travis do that? Cause you know Kylie got money. You know girls fine on the building now. Exactly. 
Making myself look like the real Travis Scott is gonna be one of the most important tasks, if not the most important task when it comes to this whole entire experiment. So before I can even look the part, I must first learn to act the part. Alright, what's going on? It's currently 4.55. 4.55 a.m. I'm up right now. Still up, bro. I haven't went to bed as yet. I'm just up basically watching paparazzi videos and just looking at some paparazzi photos of Travis Scott because literally in a few hours, I'm about to take this picture and basically do something I've never done before. Something very, I guess, hard to pull off, I guess. I'm, I'm gonna attempt to actually be Travis Scott to prepare. I had to see how this nigga dress, how this nigga walk, just everything he do. And that's and that's what I've been doing all night, you know? Let me show you how Travis Scott usually dresses. I'm pull up how Travis Scott dress, like nowadays, you know? A lot of chains, got his braids, of course. Some kind of rock star shirt, or Astro World shirt, of course. He wear like some jeans. You don't wear normal jeans usually. Another thing he also does, what I realize, his shirts are never his actual size. He always wear like baggy shirts. Like, you see where the neck is, that shirt, that low. He always wear baggy shirts, he always wear baggy pants. And last but not least, Retro Fours. He wears a lot of Retro Fours. That's probably the only Jordan to see him in. Either Retro Fours or Retro Ones. So, basically I'm prepared, bro. I bought some clothes, I borrowed some shoes, I borrowed some pants. Bro, let me tell y'all, bro. This boat to come out right. I'ma go to bed for now and in a few hours wake up and get to work, bro. What's good, bro? Um, right? There's this video idea I'm trying to do. What I wanted your girl to do, right? Um, I know she braided hair. I'm coming up with a picture of Travis Scott. Something similar to that. I need her to get it maybe 100% or 90% as close to the picture as possible. I'm trying to shoot this little paparazzi photo and see if I can make the world believe that it's actually Travis Scott. Wow. Alright, uh, first step of the morning. It's 11 19 a.m. Um, I'm about to head to the barber. That's gonna be my first step for the day, you know what I mean? I run it kind of late, to be honest. I planned on being by my cousin by at least 10 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock now. I haven't even got my hair cut yet, so that's what I'm about to do right now. Now, 11.32 a.m. Literally spent a few minutes inside there. That's what I like with that barber. They cut you good and they cut you fast. Uh, now I head down to my cousin. What's going on, buddy? When you ready to make that move? I think that Travis Scott big man. Maybe that's how he's supposed to pictures. Travis Scott big Wow. Done. Yo, what's up, bro? Get ready. I think that's how they can dress right now. I think it dress just like that. You got the blonde hair, as y'all know. At the moment, be good. This hair, the braids are long in mine, so it's all good. I mean, because Photoshop can do it all. Now, it was officially time to get it done. Seeing that the hotel we wanted to take the photos was completely and supposed to be a guest only spot, we had to do some sneaking to get in. And basically, we only had just one chance to pull it off before, you know, potentially being kicked out. Down there, so. So you gotta walk back out? Yeah, let's go down some more levels. You can stop and see. Are you ready? And from this moment on, little did we know, everything would change forever. Alright, uh, I just went through a whole 700 plus photos, bro. 11 photos, I believe, that I believe that looked like Travis Scott, at least a little bit, you know? These are the photos right here. I think um, this is gonna be the one I choose. I like this one the most. I feel like that actually look like him. Without even me even having to pack any Photoshop in that, people would believe this one. I'm a watermark, a TMZ logo on it, meaning TMZ took the photo, and I think it's gonna work. Travis shot down cheating rumors. Travis Scott is fired up over rumors he cheated. Travis Scott is cheating on his girlfriend and the mother of his child, Kylie Jenner. Yep, the rapper is clearing the air about his relationship with the Lip Kit creator. On Monday, Travis made one thing clear. He only has love for Stormy's mom. Okay, wait, this is my question. Why would they Photoshop a picture of someone that isn't Travis with a woman? After a photo surfaced of what appeared to be Travis cozying up to a mystery woman, he slammed one fan in the comments writing, I don't be on a balcony with no thoughts. That's lame. Wait, so do you 
think? I think it's Travis. Are you kidding me? You do? Oh my gosh, it looks just like him. This is really rare for Travis Scott to be speaking out. He normally keeps really quiet about drama. I don't want to believe Travis. that it's him. Obviously, maybe it's an old photo, but his hair is dyed blonde, and that's a new thing. Travis set the record straight again on his Insta story. Quote, trolls always want to create some fake sh to destroy real love. Now, despite the fact that the picture is very low quality, I mean, I don't know if it was taken on an Android, a lot of people are saying that this is just a bad Photoshop. I was thinking that. My thing is, if it's not him, why would they Photoshop it? That makes no sense. It just, it's him. Travis himself decided to address the rumors directly, saying that this is the work of internet trolls. He seemed to be really upset. Okay. Or it could be taken out of context. Like, he could just be talking to the woman. But I feel like to say it's not you is ridiculous. Nuzzling into her neck and talking I mean, maybe he's got a whisper in her ear, tell her a little secret. There's a conspiracy theory floating around that Kris Jenner is finding a way to meticulously sneak in a new piece of drama into an upcoming episode of Keeping up with the Kardashians, which let's be honest here, I wouldn't put it past her. So how do you think Travis handled the cheating rumors? I feel like he set the record straight. I just feel like he needs to add some clarity as to why that picture looks so much like him. But hey, what do you think? Do you think that the picture is real? Is Travis Scott cheating on Kylie Jenner? I mean, listen, did. I don't think he cheated. I just think the photo is definitely him and he's got some explaining to do. Bruh, <laughs> this is everywhere on, on Twitter now, bro. Everywhere, bro. I feel so bad sometimes, bro. to say like, damn, bro, am I really messing up? This nigga relationship. Now you all see how the world could believe something just because they want to believe it. They'll run with anything that that entertains them. They don't really care about the truth and doing the research and stuff like that. You know? Damn. Travis Scott, you watching this, bro? Forgive me, bro. You just one of my favorite artists out there of all time to me. You know? Big fan. Boy, I was on Twitter just now. Big man. They got that picture all over the place on Twitter, boy. Boy, they got that picture all over the place, boy. I know, but I tell you, but give this a few days. That up there, boy. So all you gotta do is go on Twitter and search Travis Scott. Hey, search Travis Scott and say Travis Scott G. <laughs> 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 Hold on, say it. Oh wait, let me show you. Wow, 6:55 p.m. Uh, yeah, bro. Hey, this picture blew up way more than it did a few hours ago, bro. Just going up and up and up and up as it goes. TMZ done caught Travis locking. Shake my head, and bro, look at the retweets and likes. My lord, bro. <laughs> okay, so it's literally 9.03 p.m. Bro, it hasn't even been a full 24 hours yet, bro. The world is chewing the hell out of this story, bro. If you go on the story, look at the very last thing. Travis Scott has officially replied, bro. Travis Scott has officially seen the pictures, bro. Hey, what you doing? So we got some good news, well, amazing news, right? Maybe three, four hours ago, right? Twitter been chewing the hell out of that story, but if you search up the letter T, you'll find our pictures online. You search on Twitter right now, you'll find it. So just now, 20 minutes ago, I believe, Travis Scott saw the picture and he posted. <laughs> He then he then repost the photo, but what he did, he was like, "Wait a minute, I can't even see it. I can't even explain to you. Go on Travis Scott Instagram story, and you can see it." Oh damn, you made him mad. No, I didn't make him mad. Why you didn't make him mad? <laughs> no, because shoot, the video gonna come out soon, and he gonna see the video and be like, "Okay, that's what the nigga do." <laughs> That nigga, that nigga, that, all right, cool, all right, I see that nigga do, all right. Nah, nigga, nah, the internet can know now not to believe nothing. I bet you the next time he cheat, nobody gonna believe it. If he actually cheat. So I just give him actually a free pass. My boy, that's my boy. <laughs> so, in 24 hours, bro, under 24 hours. Damn, bro. Shoot. <laughs> Oh, hello, wait. Someone just messaged me and said that it went to Shade Room. I gotta go see for myself. Travis Scott addresses a fake paparazzi photo that started to circulate where it looks like he was caught with another woman. All right, so it's been, shoot, another hour passed and brought there's someone on the internet right now, some IG model on the internet that's claiming to be the girl in the picture, which is far from the truth. And I mean, another reason why I'm preaching this message on my video, I guess, and I mean, to not believe everything you see online. What's bothering me about it is because all these websites like Complex and People Magazine, they saying that she is the one to originally post the photo, which is far from the truth. I don't know, bro. That's another that's another thing right there. It shows, bro, you can't just believe everything you see on the internet because most likely it's not a true statement or it's just not a true story. For the one saying it's for a music video, it's not. She's messing with Travis. She need to stop. She need to delete the whole Instagram, bro. Because she really a jerk. Reach and reach now, after this photo hit the internet, I hosed my ass right on over to her page to take a look at who she was. And I noticed she was a really pretty young girl, okay? Very natural. She's little, just like he likes them. I happen to give the source a call because she gave me a little bit of proof that he may well be smashing this young girl, okay? She's not trolling. He was probably 
capably smashing this girl. And hell, I think so too, because I'm trying to understand why in the hell would her page get deleted if she was lying on this man. I understand that they want to come after Super Thigh Selena Powell, but this wasn't the case. This girl posted a picture that someone else captured of her entertaining Travis Scott. So I knew that it was somebody from the inside of that Kardashian clan that gave Instagram a phone call and said, take that little bitch damn shit down now, now. <laughs> he says, okay, listen closely. When you got some age on you like me, you see right through the shit. Trolls always want to create some fake shit to destroy real love. Going overboard to make shit look like is evil. I hate acknowledging shit, but quit trying to take joy from shit that's good, okay? I pray God blocks out all evil, okay? Back to celebrating. But if you notice in this post, he never said that he didn't do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You gotta read it between the lines. Word on the street is Travis Scott has an asphyxiation of fetish with butterfly. He gave Kylie Jenner a butterfly necklace. They both have butterfly tattoos. He made his old album dedicated to butterflies. Hell, I forgot to mention that Kylie Jenner was afraid of butterflies until she met Travis Scott. He loves butterflies. When he did his video with Faisa, it was butterflies everywhere. He got butterflies on his album cover. People were starting to put two and two together. She's rocking a butterfly necklace, a smaller one. This little girl that was hugged up with him has the gold-plated butterfly that was given to her allegedly by Travis Scott. He gives all the women that he messes with either butterfly tattoos or jewelry with butterfly pendants, okay? Mm -hmm. Read in between the lines of old school. I know what in the hell is going on here. Those are the actual facts. He was trying to deny that it was him, but everybody knows his funny shape he had with them damn braids and shit. Ain't nobody just got that. You don't just make that shit. You don't just Photoshop that shit. That was his ad. <laughs> Basically, every last single big article out there, or big platform, or any big website, any big social media that does news or gossip or anything like that, posted about the story. And I mean everyone. You got Media Takeout, Channel 24, The Guardian, Bustle, iHeartRadio, ET News, Refinery29, Celebrity Insider, Capital Extra, The Huffington Post, Cosmopolitan, Complex Music, Hot New Hip Hop, Complex themselves, Access Hollywood, a couple different radio stations, Pop Crush, Travis Scott himself, websites and stuff that don't even speak English, E News. People Magazine, My Mix Tapes, OK Magazine, Hollywood Life, and last but not least, The Shade Room. I think it's Travis. Are you kidding me? Uh